Hey, what's up everybody? Topnums P517. I want to come back with a tutorial for you guys. So, as you know, I've painted the sock liner on the Bread 11 Lowe's. Um, from bread to black. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So, it's pretty simple. First thing first, I'm going to go over the supplies of what you will need. A paintbrush. Um, you will need some Angelus flat black uh, paint. And then also, you actually need what they are called, it's the GAC 900 or GAC 900, I don't know what it really is, but it's a fabric painting medium, so what it does is when you do paint the liner itself, its purpose is to keep the paint from flaking. Because if you paint it with just paint alone, this will end up flaking um, when you wear the shoes itself. Now what you need in order for this to cure is an actual heat gun. You can't use a blow dryer, you need to use a heat gun. So I picked up a Wagner heat gun. It's about $20, $25. You can get it from Amazon. Same thing with the GAC 900. Um, and I'll put these in the link below, but if you do want to pick this up, you can get these locally at a Home Depot or a craft store. Um, up here in Washington, we got Michaels. I don't know if it's nationwide. But Angelus, you can get them from the website directly itself. And one other thing is you need a container. You can do a two ounce container, which is this one, or a one ounce container. And I'll explain what the purpose of that is. And last but not least, you need some Q-tips. So first thing first, um, what you need to do is on the GAC 900, make sure you shake it up for very well. And then same with the paint itself. And with the two ounce container, I like the two ounce better, but you can use the one ounce, but the one ounce will fill up to the brim of the container itself. Is you want to do a one to one ratio of the flat black and the GAC. You want to pour in the flat black paint first and slowly add the GAC 900 and stir as you go. You don't want to squeeze all the GAC 900 in. Um, for some reason it just doesn't mix very well, so you want to do a little bit at a time, mix it in, a little bit at a time, mix it in until it becomes a one-on-one -on -one ratio for you guys. And it's pretty simple. Um, make sure you have a surface that you're able to sacrifice and uh, in case you do spill some paint on it, you're not gonna you're not gonna go crazy. Take out the shoelaces, take out the sock. Um, the insole because you're going to be getting to certain areas where you need to get a hold of and then other than that you just start painting so it's pretty simple um, you don't need to do you don't need to saturate the material but make sure the stuff is mixed in very well you just dip and you just start going at it so it's going to take definitely four to five coats maybe more but like I said with the video you need a lot of patience with this um, don't oversaturate the material because you want to let it dry and then you want to paint a second coat into it right after that um, actually no not right after that but about 45 minutes uh, four to five, not 45, but four to five minutes after the first coat, you want to paint a second coat and repeat repeat the process until it is fully covered. What you want to do at that point is you let it sit and you let the paint dry on the sock liner. And once it is dry, you can't it can't be wet. It needs to be dry. You can take your heat gun. And what you want to do at that point is about six inches to eight inches away. You want to just run it through back and forth, back and forth. And then uh, uh, that will cure this material. So that's what you need to do is with the heat gun, it, it does some sort of a reaction to this material and it helps keep the paint from flaking. So if you do have any questions, let me know. But I'm just going to keep working at this. The end result should look something like this. Um, initially, it's going to look like you're going to see the red coming through. Be patient. 
that black paint is going to dry up. You just keep adding more coats on there until you see the black that you want. And then uh, eventually, heat gun, cure it. It takes about three to five minutes. Make sure to cure it for about three to five minutes. Once you have that, you should be good to go and ready to wear. So, if you do have any questions, like I said, make sure to put it in the comments below. I can definitely try and help you out with it. Um, but make sure to also like the video and subscribe. Other than that, peace out. So, one other thing. So in regards to the Q-tip, this is what I do. You want to dip a little bit of this in water. And in regards to the 23, you gently just brush the 23 when you paint over it. And it takes that paint right off. So. Let me uh, zoom in, give you a better. And that's all you do. So you need to have a few Q-tips on hang, as you can tell. It catches a lot of the paint. You'll need a new one, so. But that's it. 